Well, good evening, folks, uh, again on behalf of Church Town. It's good to be back again online, and I trust as you join with us and you listen in that God will bless your soul as we just spend uh, a little while together in study of God's Word. Uh, but before we go any further, I just want to commit our time to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we come to the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you again, Lord, this evening for every blessing and the opportunity to come in prayer. And Father, we bow our heads this evening. We say thank you, Lord, for uh, all your good blessings toward us. We thank you, Lord, again for that uh, blessed hope we have in Christ Jesus. Lord, as we come this evening, we come to worship you, the Holy God, the one true and living God. Thank you, Lord, that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. And Father, this evening, we thank you so much that you gave your life uh, a ransom for many. We thank you, Lord, for the precious blood that you shed, that we might come and rest all upon thee. We thank you, Lord, that you've saved us. We thank you, Lord, for how you have kept us and the days that has gone in the past. We thank you, Lord, for all of the blessings. We thank you for family, friends. No, Lord, we commit our time to you this evening as we turn to your word later on. As we hear from it, Lord, we pray you would bless it to our hearts this evening. We thank you, Lord, that uh, we are still in the days of grace. We thank you, Lord, that you are the God that hears and knows our every need. We come, Lord, and this evening on behalf of those within our congregation. You know every situation. You know every heart, Lord. You know the trials and the troubles that we go through. Father, you know... Uh, each and every day we live, there will be problems and there will be things along life's way. But Lord, we thank you tonight that now on to him that is able to keep that which we've committed unto him against that day. And Father, this evening, we just pray that you would bless us in this time. That Lord, as we just come around your word, oh Lord, you'll speak to us and do us good. Thank you for everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Bible reading this evening is to be taken in 1st John and the chapter 4. 1st uh, John chapter 4, just a few verses of God's word. Let us hear the word of the Lord. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. And the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth us not. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Amen. We know God will bless his word to our hearts this evening. I'm sure many times you and I have heard the phrase, don't believe everything you hear. Or some would say, if you believe everything you hear, you will eat all you see. Really what the Apostle uh, uh, is saying here throughout this chapter, uh, especially the first few verses, is that we're to test the spirits, whether they are of God or whether they're not. Many times uh, if you come into conversation w with a person, and, you know, they may talk the good talk. They will go to the church. They'll do all the things. They will pray. They will pay to the church. They will uh, say, yes, they're a Christian. And, you know, 
whenever you come to having a, a good in-depth conversation, it won't take very long before you realise whether that person is a Christian, a true born-again Christian. What you'll have to ask is, are you saved? You know, when were you saved? Are you born again? And during the conversation, you will soon know whether that person is of God or if they're not of God. But you know, there's a great story uh, throughout this chapter, but especially as I was uh, looking here at verse 9, and this is what it says here in verse 9, In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. And you know, whenever a man or a woman comes to know the Lord Jesus Christ, and thank God whenever they're born again, the love of God will set upon their heart. Now, yes, we will feel, we will feel God many times, but whenever we're born of God, there is that great uh, change in a man or woman's life. Corinthians says, uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things passed away and behold, all things become new. There is that great uh, love within the Christian because he loves God, because God first loved us. Not that there was anything in you or I, but, but because he first loved us. And you know, we think about Christmas and there'll be many gifts uh, that will pass through many hands, but here I believe is the greatest gift of all. And it is the gift of God's Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God toward us because God sent his only begotten Son into the world. There is a great plan of salvation for you and I. And thank God he came with that plan that he would go to the cross to die for our sins. And that is the only way that you and I will ever uh, see heaven. is through heaven repentance through the death on the cross. And that's why we celebrate Christmas and that's why he came. And thank God for all those who will uh, just uh, confess their sin, realise that they're lost without the Saviour, for all that will come to him. This is the greatest gift that any man or woman will ever receive. It is the gift of eternal life. I give on to them eternal life. The Bible says they shall never perish. So there's the greatest gift that you and I will ever receive. I wonder, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour? Well, I trust through reading for yourselves in First John that you will come to know the Saviour. And thank God when you do that, this could be the best Christmas you will ever have. I trust that you will just read the chapter for yourselves and may God bless his word to your heart this evening. Amen. I just want to sing this evening one uh, gospel song and it's entitled If We Never Meet Again. This song speaks very much about heaven but also asks a question if you and I were never uh, to meet again down here below will we meet in God's heaven and I trust that you're saved by the grace of God. Enjoy the words as I sing them. If We Never Meet Again. Sin will come to the end of life's journey And perhaps we'll never meet anymore Till we gather in heaven's bright city Far away side of heaven will we meet on that beautiful shore 
Oh, they say we'll be happy in heaven Where no storm clouds ever darken the sky And they say we shall meet by that river That wonderful sweet by and by Where the charming roses bloom forever And where separation comes no more If we side of heaven will we meet on the banks of that shore where the charming roses bloom forever and where separation comes no more if we never meet again this side of heaven will we meet on that beautiful Just bow our heads as we close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening as we have gathered online, we've gathered around your word this evening. Lord, we thank you again for uh, everyone that has listened in. Lord, we thank you again for the precious word of God. We thank you, Lord, it is able to set the soul free from sin. And Father, we thank you this evening as we've just pondered that precious gift of God that how you came in the fullness of time into this world. And Lord, there you went to the cross of Calvary and there you died that we might go free. We thank you, Lord, for the great plan of salvation. We thank you, Lord, that uh, today you're still on the throne, that you do hear our every need and our every cry toward thee. So, Father, we pray as uh, we've just uh, took another look at your word, and the, how we ponder over it. Father, would you help those that still are outside of the kingdom, those that are on their way to lost eternity. Lord, we pray this evening that you would, uh, by your spirit, draw them to the cross. And Father, would you save them. Father, thank you again today just for every blessing. And we pray, Lord, until we meet online again, you would keep us safe. You would uh, tend to our every need. Surround us with that great love of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, thank you today for every blessing. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.